so welcome back to my channel it's been a little bit I have actually I'm actually doing two videos this weekend which is cool <laughs> and I've been a little bit behind on um, filming my videos just a lot of things going on first of all I want to update you this is the number of days that are left until my retirement it's really it feels like it's moving a lot faster than it was before it's, it's really neat and there's still like some things that I have to do there's there's things that you have to do and it just it feels very interesting because <laughs> you can't you know that you know that it's happening and people are congratulating you friends and everything and I, I'll, I'll talk, talk to you a little bit more about that the um, I still have another paper to do and then there's the 401k that has to be taken care of and um, all these other things and finding a new doctor and all this stuff and I'm excited like I said before it's also like I get nervous <laughs> but I can't wait I'm really looking forward to it we've had a very um, rough couple of months I wasn't really going to share this but Bill had uh, an eye surgery that has uh, had him heal he's been healing and going back to the doctor and such so that's been part of this last couple of months and also putting into perspective um, the things that are important which is really something I'm, I will share that in another video but first of all I wanted to talk about the um, about downsizing the things to downsize and this will be a very fast a very uh, long video because I also have one coming up that is a recipe that I want to share and I'm going to probably put them up in the same week in this week so anyway I wanted to just share about the things to downsize and one of the things is obviously your stuff that's what people usually think about is the things that we downsize the things that we own and this is a good time to do that I can go into more detail but right now as the weather starts to become a little bit cooler and you're not heading out as much and today for example it rained we were me and Bill were gonna go out to breakfast which we don't typically do um, but we were gonna go out to have breakfast and we get up and it's pouring <laughs> we were like I guess not <laughs> so we said no we're not gonna do that and today that's one of the things I could have spent doing was just um, organizing I ended up doing some cooking instead which is hence the video um, but it's a good time now these cooler months and you have the excuse too that you have to get your clothes ready for the autumn and everything even though here in North Carolina it's still warm but you have that excuse that you can start to do that and while you're at it you can start doing certain drawers that need to be done and everything else another thing okay I'm back <laughs> the hubby wanted to know what was going on with the things in the oven <laughs> I'm making dinner in between all of this. I tell you, it's been a busy day. <laughs> the other thing that you want to do, uh, downsize would be your schedule. Your schedule is something, uh, my, my schedule used to be so crazy and um, just I, I had so much to do. And sometimes when I was younger and of course when your, your uh, children are young and I often would um, say yes to stuff that really I didn't want to do. <laughs> Or I didn't have time to do on top of everything else. And we would sometimes plan two and three things for one day. And at one point, I finally told Bill, I said, we can't do that. We really can't do that. It's hard to dedicate time to what you really want to do. And now that I'm um, in the last stretch of the way to of my working time, um, I'm really starting to realize how precious my time is and how I really want to spend it. Um, what I want to fill it with and I think that if even if you're not going to retire that's something that you need to give a lot of thought to you need to give thought to how are you going to spend your time is it are, are you often saying yes to things that you really don't put your whole heart into or or just don't have the time for or it's adding just to the stress or maybe it's something that you don't agree with you don't um, you don't feel passionately about or whatever that's okay you know it's better to just that something with a good heart so that's something to also think about downsizing and this again this is while you're downsizing your stuff you might as well downsize that too and another thing is a good idea to downsize is negative 
thoughts. I know that that probably <laughs> sounds weird, but I'm a person that ruminates and I tend to think about things that um, sometimes they, they, they build up and you just keep thinking about it. And you know what? I'm starting to see that life is just too short. It really is. And to be thinking about things that just you have haven't happened or maybe they have happened but you really can't do anything about it and the next phase of the way is to just move forward and I really suggest that you start to downsize those what I have started to do is I give myself since again I'm a ruminator <laughs> I give myself just a certain allowance of time to give to those thoughts I'll give maybe a few minutes, maybe half an hour to let it while I'm, while I'm cooking, while I'm doing something, I'll, I'll dwell upon it, I'll meditate upon it. And then that's it. Because whatever's happened has happened, whatever has been done has been done. So just move forward. Just And don't think about, don't ruminate on, oh, you know, this bill or that bill. If it's going to make you sick, put this thought aside and take it up again when you're better able to, to do it. To think about it all the time just really brings more stress to us. So not that you don't have to take care of something, but and those things are, are, are important, but I'm talking more about things of just other people's drama, and which leads me to the next thing, which is, speaking of other people's drama, toxic people, and Everybody has them in their lives. We have toxic people in our lives. Um, it's hard sometimes to get away from that. So if you can't get away from it, at least curb the amount of time <laughs> that you have to do that. A lot of times we, we, we're, we, we're people pleasers and we're uh, people lovers. But sometimes there are just people that weigh you down that just aren't good for you. Or they talk down to you or whatever the case may be there's people that love you there's people that lead you that build you up that give you positivity or there's yourself too sometimes we don't give the time that we have for ourselves that much credit and of course as a believer as a christian there's the lord so there's other things to be spending your time with rather than other people's drama <laughs> You know, the older, the, I have the saying that on uh, Pinterest, it says, the older I get, the less time I have for other people's drama. And I, I'm starting to feel that way. I'm starting to, to see that. So that's something to think about that as something that you want to downsize. <laughs> I want to downsize the, the toxicity in my life. Certain people you have to have um, interaction with for whatever reason. And that's fine. But keep that at a minimum. Um, set your boundaries. Boundaries are good. I have only started to really set boundaries in the last few years. But And I'm not a, a doctor. This is just something that I have learned from the last few years. And you need to have boundaries. You need to. Boundaries are good. They're healthy for you and they're healthy for other people too. And if you need, you know, uh, more than that, Find someone good to someone that loves you that that can share a coffee with you and talk and get that old you know off your shut off your chest and then move on and go see a movie together or something <laughs> you know but get rid of the toxicity in your life because like I said life is just too short and there's other things we we, we need to be doing I just I'd rather take a nap <laughs> than really be brought down so there's I have a, a a saying somewhere also that I saw that I like and that's like those people it, the battle really isn't with you it's with themselves they might have something in their lives that they're not happy about something and understand that that that's them that's something that they have to work out we can only pray for people sometimes we have to love them from afar sometimes we have to keep a distance sometimes we have to step away and fill your life instead with those people that truly love you and that you truly love and that really enhance your life and are, are your life. So anyway, I just wanted to share that about downsizing. Just a few little thoughts 
And I hope that that's something that has uh, inspired you and that has that, that will help you in this day. I'm going to go back downstairs because I have to go uh, save my, my vegetables from the oven. <laughs> so I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.